when a lot of people think of India, they think of Hinduism and Buddhism and Islam and different religions. But for me, Christianity and specifically Catholicism, the, the Siro Malabar rite of Catholicism was a part of my life growing up. Being from the state of Kerala in South India, it's one of the regions where Christianity traditionally draws its roots all the way back to St. Thomas the Apostle. Growing up Catholic and, and hearing about different saints, I'd heard a little bit about St. Dominic and the Albigensians and all that. I'd heard a lot about St. Thomas Aquinas. And I kind of knew that Dominicans, both in the past and in the present, had a strong reputation for upholding orthodoxy, for being faithful to the church, and for really putting themselves out there for the proclamation of the gospel. Every aspect of Dominican life is oriented to living the Great Commission. You know, go out and preach to all the nations, um, teaching them to observe all that I've commanded you. And that resonated with me, that struck a chord with me, where I realized that that was what I was moved to do. That's what God had created me for, was to spread that good news. As a student brother, our real focus is to take the opportunities that are given to us for formation. So that's spiritual formation, both by making a habit of regularly participating in the office of, of the hours, of praying at Mass and our private meditations, praying the Rosary, really continuing to develop those habits that we started developing in the novitiate, as well as to take that a step further in the intellectual formation and begin to look with a very critical eye about what it is that we believe. So the focus of the studentate is really to, to grow and develop ourselves so that eventually when we are called to minister full-time, we'll have that strong foundation that we can rely on. I think that's why the Dominican vocation really fit what I was being called to, because I can both preach to people and call out to them as a religious, as a preacher, and then through the priesthood, allow God to use me to offer them what it is they really are longing for.